Hello, I'm at the office. Um, I'm dressed pretty casually because it's just gonna be, it's just me in the office. It's been only me whenever I come in here just for safety reasons because of COVID, but something exciting came for the office I wanted to share with you guys. I ordered new Nespresso pods for our Nespresso machine that we have here. So this is, I didn't, I didn't buy this, the office did, but I'm gonna open it up and um, I, my boss said I could get some flavors for me, so I did. <laughs> uh, but most of it is for like everybody in the office, which is just mostly just me, my, and my two bosses. So let's open it up. All right, I'm not used to the framing of this camera, so I hope I'm in frame. But the first thing I'm gonna pull out here because it has the office address is the recyclable bags from Espresso. So if your coffee pod container is full of empty coffee pods, you put all your coffee pods back here and then you mail it back to Nespresso and they recycle it in the most, I guess, ethical and in environmentally um, safe way possible. So I got two of those, they come free. And then the first two flavors are the ones that I ordered. One is called the Hazelino Muffin, which is, I guess, hazelnut muffin. And then this one is caramel cookie. So I got those, those are for me. <laughs> well, obviously my bosses can try them too. And then these are, the rest are like darker coffee. So this one's called Bianco Forte, uh, Stormio, they sound dark. And then another one is Intenso. So I've got a bunch of those because that's what my boss prefers, just a darker flavor coffee. And there's a bunch more pods in here so I'm gonna refill our coffee pods and I'll probably try one of the flavored coffees so coffee haul I made it into an iced coffee so this one I think yeah this is the hazelnut one treasure chest. I'm probably so shiny right now. It is 1.22 in the afternoon. I spent the morning editing the vlog and it's um, exporting right now. And I just finished packing up two orders that came in. These orders are packed a bit late just because I got really busy last week, so I'm, I'm, I apologize. But I wanted to show you how they look. Uh, I've been packing my orders the same way. I get about one or two orders a month, uh, so not really that much. And um, that's okay because the method I'm packing these in, these took me a while. A lot of the stuff that goes in, that is in my store, I do, what do you, what is that? What do you call it? What's that term? Yeah, it's a restaurant term. I make them to order. <laughs> so if it's not a book or a zine that I've already made before, I have to print everything out. So prints and stickers, I have to cut them out uh, because I never know. I don't pre-make a lot of my sticker sheets because I know I don't know how what's going to sell. So I kind of make them on the spot. Uh, so Michaela and Giselle, thank you so much for your orders. I hope these get to you safely and quickly. Um, but because of COVID, I do have warnings on my store envy saying that because of COVID, uh, stuff could get delayed depending on your postal service. But uh, Michaela ordered both of my art books, so thank you so much. I added a bunch of extras in there. I always add extras for people. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you how they are packaged because I package them all the same way. No real update. 
I got these notes at uh, Muji a while back and I have a thick stack of them so I, I just use I've, I've been using that instead of my my pre-made my own notes I just want to get through that but yeah thank you so much for ordering from my shop I still have to put these in envelopes and address them but that won't take too long I also printed out some sticker sheets because I need to do a post for the next patreon cycle the next uh, sticker sheets are gonna be the honey I mean the <laughs> the bee sticker sheets so yeah uh, it's a little bit late for spring this feels like a spring sticker sheet but I think it works well for summer as well uh, and it's so cute so this was actually a ultimate parcel sticker request and I decided to make it into the next cycle sticker sheet I do that a lot so yeah I really liked how it turned out so I wanted to make it into a sticker sheet for the next cycle yeah I need to I think I might do the photo shoot today I'm gonna break for lunch though because I'm getting hungry so yeah I'll leave that for for later so an Amazon package came in I've been trying my best to limit my Amazon orders so I'm only ordering stuff that I really need just to limit post and using Amazon itself I, I wanted to I was thinking about quitting Amazon Prime or just using Amazon in general but it's been really helpful for this art business that I'm running which has definitely slowed down in the last few months so I have not been using my Prime membership much so I I haven't really stopped my Prime yet and I, I am thinking about it once all the stores open up again what I want to do is I want to find a place where I can get all the things that I need like uh, mostly it's the cello bags and the watercolor paper so once everything opens up I want to go shop around to find local places that I can buy from instead of relying on Amazon anyway um, my package came in what I ordered is more watercolor paper because I needed it and I still don't know how to order stuff from Curry's or from Michael's and then pick it up I think I just have to call them because they're all closed right now we are on phase two of reopening stuff which I don't really know what that means in Ontario but certain stuff certain places are opening but I'm pretty sure non-essential stuff like uh, art stores are still closed so you can't really go in you just have to get you just have to get contactless delivery Anyway, I've been talking about this for too long, but bottom line is I want to eventually quit using Amazon because I don't like them as a big conglomerate and I'm giving money to this huge conglomerate when I can just not do that. Anyway, what I ordered is more watercolor paper and I ordered a fanny pack for when I go for a run. My boyfriend does not like me going out running without uh, my phone on me. I don't like running holding my phone because I'm definitely going to drop it. So I bought this fanny pack that hopefully does not bounce. I do have a fanny pack that I use, but it's more, it's too bulky for a run. It kind of bounces everywhere and it doesn't stay put. So I bought this running fanny pack. Let's see how it turns out. Okay, I talked for too long. All right, let's open this. This is the packaging for the fanny pack. Do you see how small this is? I like comparing things to my face. It's pretty tiny. It looks like it's full of jerky or something like that. Gear Beast. And this one, it's just my favorite watercolor paper. I needed more of this because I'm running out of my small size. I have my big size, but I want to keep my big sizes big. All right. Let's open up this fanny pack. Will my phone fit? I'm pretty sure my phone, people said their phones fit, it just stretches. So, oh yeah, that definitely fits, but I can't fit anything else other than maybe just some change if I need it. Oh, that that's great. I, need, I can put a credit card in there, some money, definitely like bills, and probably my lip balm, but that's pretty much it. Let's try it. These shorts are great, but I don't like how the zipper shows. Alright, let's go. I mean, I won't get to know how it is when I run. Ooh, that's nice. 
I've seen some people put it up here and tighten it. Oh, that's perfect. I can just put my phone right here. Hey. And that, that's great. I picked the, they had a orange one and I think a black one, but I wanted to get the lime green or the neon green because it's brighter. And when you're running, you want to be seen. You don't want to get run over. So yeah, this is great. It was the cheapest one as well. It was like 12 bucks. <laughs> so works. I wanted to show you. This is the fanny pack that I've had for a long time. I tried jogging with this, but as you can see, it's just just too big. Eight o'clock. We're going for a run now. So I put on my belt. I put it here because it feels comfortable. Because I feel like if I put it around my waist, it will bounce. Um, I put the phone in the back because it feels better than having it here. And I think it's good because it's visible. It has some reflective tape. So yeah feels better from the back. <laughs> Does it look silly? Okay, it's lower now. I kind of like it at the top. Okay. I'll put my hat on. Just so, I mean, I'm going out in daylight, so it's less dangerous, I guess. Not really. It's still better to be seen. So I'm going to put this really bright looking hat on so I will be seen and not to get run over plus the sun is still out it's supposed to set at like nine o'clock but I think I'll be done by then all right bye it's not a game it's a Good morning guys, it is Saturday, June the 20th, about 9 o'clock in the morning. Uh, woke up probably 15 minutes ago. I was hoping to wake up a little bit earlier because I wanted to go for a nice walk without such, you know, high sun. The sun is really high now already and it's going to be a really hot, scorching day today. But um, I guess my body just wanted to sleep in a little bit more, which is understandable. I usually sleep in on the weekends. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing in a bit. I'm going to head out fairly soon. And I'm going to wear the same sandals just so my tan can, on my feet can remain consistent. I'm kind of afraid of them being like extremely visible, but that's unavoidable. Might as well enjoy it. The summer months here in Canada don't last very long anyway. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. And yeah, I'm going to go for a walk, but I'm also going to kind of walk in a way where I snake into a grocery store so I can grab some milk and some toilet paper because we're running out of those. So I need to bring my mask. Um, yeah, and the other thing I'm going to be wanting to do today uh, is I, I bought these pots at the dollar store. But they're really tiny. They come with these little plates. So when you water it, it doesn't spill all over the place. But I'm going to 
move all my propagating plants into soil today. So there's only three here, which should be enough, I think, uh, because some of them still need to uh, grow their roots a little bit more. So that's what the plan is today. Um, yeah, uh, so I'm going to be vlogging throughout the week and sometimes on the weekend. Sometimes I won't vlog on the weekend. It really depends on how I feel. In terms of the Patreon doodle, I wanted to update here. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna be doing them over the weekends. They're only gonna be the weekdays, which is uh, really new to me because these challenges I try to do like oh an everyday drawing challenge, but no weekends are off. So yeah, that's what's happening. And there was something else I wanted. Oh yeah, when I was writing down the post for the uh, Patreon doodle last night, I wanted to. I had this this idea of running a raffle for the one dollar tier for who so I can send off those doodles in just like a little envelope with a little note and that was it but uh, Patreon does not allow raffles anymore which is pretty understandable because raffles and rules about that because it, it can be considered gambling it's different in every country so they want it to be fair to everybody and if I was going to hold a raffle I should hold it to my general audience so maybe on Instagram or something like that so I was going to do that and I might still do that but not through Patreon so that's something I'm thinking about if you guys have any suggestions um, I can probably just run it on Instagram I see a lot of Instagram artists do that so I don't know that was something I was thinking about anyway I'm gonna stop talking and I am going to I'm actually gonna update my agenda first before I head out I've been using my agenda as kind of like a really quick diary. I still have my small diary that I use. Uh, I don't think I've ever shown it in the vlog. I've shown it in a Patreon. No, I've shown it in a vlog a while back. But yeah, I've been using it as a little diary to just kind of uh, writing down some stuff in the day. But yeah, I'm going to do that uh, and then I'm going to head out. So. I'm back now well I've been back for like a while <laughs> I came home at like 11 and it's 12 now so I guess I was chilling out here for an hour I came home I did end up getting the milk and the toilet paper that we needed I also got more bananas because I've been obsessed with frozen bananas so when I did come home all sun drunk and just I guess someone's doing some whatever I don't know if you can hear hammering on the walls. Um, I ate a bunch of frozen bananas as soon as I was able to sit on the couch. I drank some water, ate a bunch of frozen bananas, and then I have just been watching YouTube videos. And I went to go look at my old YouTube vlogs on my, my old videos. I watched a couple of them, and in a couple of them I have my nails painted. One time I painted my nails all different colors so I kind of want to do that I haven't done it then since then because it took forever so I might do that after I chill out a little bit longer so yeah um, the Sun was pretty high when I was walking and I was a bit concerned about the Sun and how I I didn't wear any sunscreen so next time I will definitely be wearing sunscreen when I go out in that much Sun because you don't want to get skin damage so I think I'm okay but next time sunscreen all right I'm gonna hang out a bit more and then do my nails I think in the first hour selling turnips in Animal Crossing slash downloading the new Pokemon DLC I remembered I had chocolate chips in the pantry or one of my cupboards so I used them all up but I only had a little bit so I have three pancakes with chocolate chips here. Sorry for all the pancake content it's been one of my um, go-to breakfasts for a bit so. It's Sunday morning I'm just downstairs watering my plants and kind of cleaning up the kitchen a little bit so this plant I don't think you've I showed it once and it was more full back when I showed it but it got ravaged by a bunch of bugs so I had to cut certain leaves off 
Um, I'm gonna have to look back in the vlogs and see how it looked like originally, but this was a couple months ago. I cut it, a bunch of the leaves off and now look, it's actually growing back. I didn't think it would this fast, but you can see a leaf is starting to form, I think, and then it'll unfurl once it gets taller. It's so exciting. It wasn't like this maybe three days ago, so I just looked at it and was very surprised. So the patterns look like it's going to be one of the leaves. Isn't that cool? I hope it does okay and doesn't get attacked by bugs again. Sorry, I have two fans going, so... <laughs> Anyway, I'm just making a really quick uh, Father's Day gift for my dad because he's been making these snacks um, and selling them, like a little business thing. He just gets um, a bit of change off of it, um, but it slowed down definitely because of COVID, but I wanted to see how it looks. So I made this, but uh, the sticker is a bit too small. It's going to do two by two, and I don't think this is a two by two inch. I think it's a little bit smaller, actually. Yeah, it's a little bit smaller, so I'm going to try and make it bigger a bit. And also, there's something wrong at the edge there. It didn't cut right, so yeah. But it's based on a photo. He likes wearing Hawaiian shirts and that hat, so yeah. Alright. Okay, now it's too big. <laughs> Actually, it's the perfect size, so these are the bigger ones compared to these small ones. Yeah, there you go. Oops. These are definitely ready now. This is the ivy. Uh, see the roots. And the two pothos. Yes, they are ready. do the ivy first. Here are my starters. <laughs> I'm a little bit worried for this one. I, well, I'm worried for most of them because I don't know how they'll do in soil. So I watered them a lot, liberally, and um, I'll just continue to watch them. I'll put them on my sill. That's where they get the most sun. But yeah, this one, I'm not sure about. And then hopefully this one I didn't damage the roots when I was trying to like shove it in there. But we'll see in a couple weeks. Hello, this is the worst lighting. It is Monday, almost 9 o'clock at night. I came home from work a while ago. I went for a run, came back, had a shower, dinner, took out the recycling, and now I am opening my new phone. I was eligible for an upgrade with my phone plan, so I decided to upgrade my iPhone 6. I just upgraded it to an iPhone 7, so it's really not that far off, but my phone is actually it's still pretty good but it is chugging along so uh, there was a promo where I didn't have to pay and I'm saving five dollars every month in, um, after the transfer so I am going to install um, I guess activate this I have, the box is full of instructions and because I can't go to a physical kiosk I'm gonna have to do it all by myself so let's see I don't even know how to replace the sim card in an iPhone do iPhones use SIM cards? Alright, anyway, I'm gonna do this. Yeah, I don't think it's much different. It's... Is it even bigger? Oh, it's, it's like the same size. <laughs> okay, so let me set this up and figure it out.
<laughs> Forget how iPhone boxes are really nice. Ooh, the thing about this. Also, by the way, my fan is going, so sorry about that. The other thing about this new iPhone is it doesn't have. It doesn't have an earphone jack. And then when they made a, an iPhone, another iPhone, they put the earphone jack back. So that was the only thing that really annoyed me. But it does come with the specific earphones for it that are that's corded. So it has a specific cord, which I think is really stupid. But okay, so the SIM card is here. I've never done this before. Ooh, it's black. It's a nice black compared to my silver, but it is the same size, although the screen is slightly bigger. Oh, it's slightly bigger. Oh, no. It's the same size, but the screen is bigger. Okay, let's just insert the SIM card. How do you do these? Where does it even go? Do I have to unscrew? Oh, maybe it's here. Push me out, pop me in. I'm gonna have to look this up. Uh, put a SIM card in there. Insert the... Oh wait, there's a tool. But there is no tool. <laughs> I found it. This is the SIM removal tool. Okay. I'm watching a video. So, what you're going to want to do is take your remove tool, go to the right side of your phone, which is right over here. You will see a little cutout with a hole. What you want to do is insert your remove tool into the hole and apply some pressure, it releases the spring and the SIM tray pops out. Once you have the SIM tray popped out, if you have a SIM card in there and you want to take it out, you remove it at that point. If you pull your Good morning, I had to turn off my fan so I can chat with you guys quickly um, because it's so loud. Uh, it's 8.43 on Tuesday, June 23rd and I woke up, had some breakfast and got ready so I'm going to be working all day today, studio day. Um, I have a glass here of Diet Pepsi because I wanted coffee, but it's just way too hot for coffee. So I decided to have a glass of this because it has some caffeine in it, so that will help. But yeah, today the schedule is to finish up. I want to get all my Patreon packaging done today. Um, well, not today, this week and definitely be sending everything up by Friday. And then I also have to catch up on my Patreon doodle. I was supposed to do it yesterday and it just kind of flew by. Well, it kind of... I kind of forgot about it because I was, exci I was excited about my new phone. So I'm going to do that uh, first thing after I update my agenda and have a sip of this cold Diet Pepsi. I am printing out prints and cutting them. And the next thing I need to do is cut out the zines and fold them and staple. feel hungry so it is lunch time I'm debating between a Malona bar and some toast because I bought some honeydew Malona bars um, oh yeah I didn't show you the, the patreon doodle I did finish it and then I just jumped into packaging so I'll show it to you after I eat whatever I decide to eat 
The honeydew flavor. I was hoping for the banana flavor because I haven't had that in a while, but they didn't have it. So I just got this one. I like all Malona bars. I think they all taste good, but my favorites are definitely the coconut. And this might be the second favorite. I just don't remember how it tastes, but yeah, Malona bar. Oh yeah, I did show you my nails. I did, um, I call them the Thanos nails. <laughs> they look like the Infinity Stones. Oh, this one got melted. Oh, it got really melted. Oh, I'm still gonna eat it. Look at it. It's not even a bar shape anymore. so good yeah i think this is this might be my favorite actually okay sorry it's now quite a bit later and i said i would show you the doodle um it's already posted on my instagram and my twitter but uh yeah here it is the winning um choice was eyeliner so i did sharp eyeliner and a pinprick of blood because the eyeliner is so sharp so yeah that's it and then the next poll is the choices are what was it honeydew because of the malona germ and messy so yeah that's that's what's going on um i'm cutting out stickers right now i finished all the if you can see it right there those are all the sticker club packages they just need a doodle on them and then they're ready to go now i'm working on the light parcel and it's raining which is annoying because i was looking forward to going for a nice jog but uh, the forecast says that what the rain is gonna be at least until nine o'clock like the chance of a thunderstorm is at least until nine o'clock so i haven't ran at night in a long time but i might just have to i go to work tomorrow so yeah um okay i'm gonna continue cutting up stickers i'm gonna watch some lazy well, listen to some lazy masquerade and then i'll check with you guys later my boyfriend and i are probably gonna make dinner soon because he has a like an online game night with a couple of friends so uh he he wants to eat before then but we'll see we're in norway it was idyllic actually as we my sister my mum and i lived within walking distance of a beach we had a short and incredibly narrow It is now 7.20. I am ending my night in the studio. Well, not really. I'm just going to take a break from the studio. I did a lot of Patreon stuff, so that's good. But I'm going to take a break before I tally up the votes on the Patreon doodle and then doodle uh, later tonight. I, I'm going to go out for a run again. So I'm going to do that and then come back. Uh, yeah, and... I just watered the plants. You can see me struggle trying to get to the ledge there, but I can. But it's okay. I think, yeah, I think a friend of mine got me this for Christmas. So this is really helpful, especially if I can't reach anything, if I can't reach the plants. But all right, I'm going to talk to you guys in a bit. I just got back from my run, but before I came home, I dropped by and got some... 
ice cream. This is for me. It's non-dairy. And this is for my boyfriend, cookie dough. I got uh, bleh, chocolate salted fudge truffle and he got cookie dough dynamo. Um, I usually get Ben and Jerry's, but wanted to try something new. Well, not usually. I've been buying ice cream as of late because it's summer, so freezer. Sweat. Oof. Right the door from the southbound 400 starting from okay. Pinch. Is this? How can I call it? Good morning, everyone. It is Thursday, June 25th. It's a studio day for me. It's 7 40 in the morning. I had breakfast. I woke up pretty early 6 30, 6 45 ish had breakfast and then got dressed did my makeup no eyeliner today just well kind of like blue pencil but no no wing trying something different i'm not gonna do eyeliner and see i'm so used to having eyeliner on that sometimes i just don't do it right and it really frustrates me plus my eyeliner is running out and I don't want to buy a new one because they're, the ones that I use are fairly expensive. They're like $13, $14 every time. And they do last quite a while, but I'm, I'm going to see how I feel without wearing eyeliner for a while. I might go back to it. Anyway, um, yeah, so did my makeup. And uh, today we are going to be, again, doing Patreon stuff. I'm going to start editing the vlog tonight uh, way before the time I do my Patreon doodles. I've been doing them around like 9.30ish at night. So I want to be done everything and have the vlog uploading for Friday. So I'm gonna get that started. Hopefully I have enough footage. But the first thing I want to do is I want to do the uh, Light Parcel Patrons. They have, um, I need to do a bunch of doodles for them. The doodles that I've been doing on, Patre on Patreon are going to go to my Light Parcels and or Ultimate Parcels. So, but I have to do a bunch more of them. And the other thing was today, we need to get a report out for my office. So at some point today, I have to get that done. I don't know when, but it has to be done. So it will cut into my studio time, but we have to get it out today. So that's another priority. Uh, I'm going to kind of take stock of where I'm at, but I'll probably do the doodles. I also have to write little notes for all my light parcels. So yeah uh that's what we're doing today and i'm gonna get started right now um thankfully today it's not too hot it'll get hotter as the day goes on in this room but i'm gonna take advantage of the cooler morning just use my fan and um yeah oh yeah but first things first agenda so oh i added a new sticker <laughs> my rolando's homemade snacks so this drawing oh yeah you saw um this drawing is actually full like a full drawing and i was thinking of making it into a shirt for my dad i don't know he seemed to enjoy them when he received them my dad is very i wouldn't call him stoic but he's not he's kind of like me when somebody gives them a gift they don't do like a huge reaction but i think he likes it so i put two stickers i put one in the front and one in the back and i think i have one within because i really like how they turned out as well so enough for your tv binging habits doritos has you covered yes the snack man I'm just i'm just watching the news so they went through all the really horrible news stuff and then they're trying to kind of lighten it up with these silly news news stories but i was gonna say i was gonna update something oh yeah so officially ontario 
uh, well, the GTA, which I'm part of, has moved on to phase two, which means that barber shops, salons are open, uh, restaurants with um, seating that accommodates physical distancing, they're open. So yesterday when I was at work, I saw certain restaurants open. It, it happened at 12.01 in the morning. So a lot of people were going out at midnight to get go to these pubs and stuff. And so yeah, we are in phase two and I can't really think, I, I don't see myself going to a restaurant unless I don't I don't feel comfortable going into a restaurant yet just because of the people who are working there and they are just at the highest risk but I can see myself going to a store to buy I don't know I've, I've been I've been wanting to get clothes uh, particularly um, workout clothes and I, I kind of want to go to the mall to do that, but I don't know. Even that I'm still a little bit uncomfortable with. I'm going to see how it pans out in the next two weeks, see what the um, cases will be like with this phase two reopening. But yeah, we are at phase two. I am pretty much officially back to work on my regular schedule, so there's that. And I've decided that I was wanting to get a haircut during quarantine. I wanted to get back to my short haircut, but I'm gonna try and grow my hair, as annoying as it is, I'm gonna try and grow my hair past my bust, close to maybe my hip. We'll see how that goes. It'll probably take me about a couple months, well, probably six plus months, but I wanna get it to that long because I haven't had it that long in quite some time. I wanna see how it feels. Uh, well, I know it's gonna be annoying because I shed like crazy. I, I think I've been shedding more because of the change in seasons. I, I think so because that happens to cats and dogs and whatever I don't know uh, but I, I noticed that I've been my hair has been shedding more but yeah if I do grow it to that I can see how I look uh, because sometimes I see girls with really long hair and I, I get jealous because it's like it's really pretty but I don't know how you maintain that so I'm gonna try plus it won't I won't have to go to the barber or the salon and the thing is if I do grow it that long I can donate my hair again so yeah I like growing my hair that long just so I can donate too. So why not? Uh, so that's what we're gonna do. It's kind of annoying every morning. Every morning I spend my time combing my hair so it don't shed throughout the day. So I, this morning I spent about 20 minutes brushing, 20 or more minutes brushing my hair and making sure there are no strands on the ground where at least, well at least picking most of them up on the floor. It's really annoying. Um, and sometimes I can feel it on my I can feel strands of hair in my back or in like my arms and they're just there and uh, Yeah, I think I just need to spend more time brushing my hair, which I never I rarely not rarely But I don't like doing it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna have to do that. But yeah uh, I kind of digressed there, but I was just saying that Ontario is in phase two and People have been pretty good. I think whenever I'm on the transit system People have been wearing masks when they're, it's more busy. Yesterday, the, the subway was quite busy and most people were wearing masks actually. So, and they're actually making it mandatory for you to wear a face covering on the subway or on the transit system. So that's good, but I'm kind of worried about the malls and the restaurants opening up because at work we have the news on and so they're, the news people are kind of reporting and I can see people like ordering food and it's just, I feel like it might be too soon. I don't know. Anyway, those are my thoughts about the um, reopenings and stuff like that. I know other areas are really bad. <sighs> yeah. So just wanted to kind of say that. I cut up a bunch of the seeds. Now I just have to round the corners. And then I'm going to print out more prints, I think. I will spare you this clipping. You've probably seen me do this so many times. And then this kind of clayish material is on the Dab it on simple sleep overnight and I do feel like mm -hmm.
it is now 10.40. Uh, this is my home screen or lock screen for my new phone, by the way. <laughs> I am finished the main insides of the light parcel packages. So the two sets of stickers, the print, the zine, the notes, and the, the written notes and the memo notes. Um, so the last thing I need to do would be to draw original doodles for every person. And then I can start packaging, which I have ready here, my tissue paper, my washi tape, my confetti, and my kind of like cardboard backing, which is just cardstock paper. I've also stopped using most, uh, if you stopped using the cello bags for these. So if a patron is watching this um, and you receive your package all damaged, it got wet or something like that, usually it's been pretty good. I haven't heard back, uh, but yeah, let me know send me a message email me and i will replace your package because it happens right so yeah i decided to wear a necklace because um, I'm, I'm giving my ears a break they're starting to act up again so i thought it was a little empty so i have my necklace here um but yeah so the doodles that i've been doing the past i guess past week now weeks worth of drawings they are going to go to patrons so if you are getting an original doodle and you see something you want let me know send me a message and i will give it to you unless someone has messaged me first so uh yeah this one was the one from yesterday which i think was pretty successful it's called the vote was for mysterious so i really like that um let me just show you them anyway <laughs> you've probably seen these i've been filming them every night just because it's so easy to just press record on my uh camera up there and i at Nowadays, I just don't care about the quality. It doesn't look that bad, but before I'd be really obsessed with how it looked because I didn't have the right lighting. But now I'm a little bit, I'm over it. As long as I get something uh, filmed like a speed paint, then it's fun, it's fine. Uh, so these are, this was my first one. That I'm, I'm sticking with the post-it size. I like the post-it size. So yeah, so these are randomly gonna go to my patrons. I put them in my Excel sheet. But now I'm going to draw more outside of the doodle poles. Okay, I got totally distracted and I um, drew this doodle which took longer than usual. Um, and I posted it to TikTok. So <laughs> I was spending so much time trying to find the perfect song and trying effects and stuff. Just playing around. Um, but yeah, I need to get cracking on more. I have to make 10 of these, so now I have to make 9. So this one is actually based off of one of the choices in the polls in the past. It was um, Restore. So uh, this was my idea for Restore. Well, what I had in mind. It's not totally what was in my brain, but yeah, I, I quite like that. So I'm going to continue drawing. And Alright, so I did two. This one I called it a pea pot. Pea pot. And then this one is just nails done, is what I called it. And then that one you saw, uh, but it's now 1 o'clock. I'm going to make myself some lunch. lunch I'm having a tomato toast with cream cheese and a cup of diet Pepsi because I didn't feel like coffee so but I wanted some caffeine kick like the other day all right it is now 4 37 I actually took uh, an hour or two to do some of the office work that I mentioned was gonna happen today so that's been sent off and I think should be done so I got to drawing let's see how much I did here one two three four five six I did six drawings and I need to do four more to get to ten but I'm kind of losing my attention <laughs> so yeah, and I also took about 30 minutes after I submitted all that work stuff. Well, not 30 minutes, maybe less than that. But I went downstairs and ate all the ice cream that I bought yesterday. Well, my ice cream. I ate some yesterday, I ate some this morning with breakfast, and then now 
and then I just ate the whole tub. It really doesn't last with me, um, treats like that, so I don't really mind that it's gone. <laughs> All right, so let me show you what I have and then maybe I'll get back to working on these doodles. This sun is really coming in. So I showed you this one and I showed you this one. You saw this one already. And then I did this one next, which is um, a slab of meat. And then I did a, a, a bird, I guess. And then the last thing I did was the satanic omen it's like a snake uh hugging a upside down cross so yeah um that's what came to mind so now i'm gonna try and draw the other ones those look pretty good i think i have one more to do so i did baloney or i kind of cheated because this is one of the choices in the poll for today and it's winning so I decided to go ahead and do it the only thing I did do is I film it properly but that's okay I'm not going to be able to film every single thing all the time so the new stuff that I did is this banana and then this one which is on TikTok as well so I have one more to do but I think I'll save that for tonight after I go for my run and have a, have a break so I'm going to take a break now I'm getting hot in here so I don't think I'm going to get the Patreon packages all packed up today and go to the mail tomorrow. So I'm going to take the weekend and send it on Monday or Tuesday. So for patrons, I apologize You're, if, you watch, if you're watching the vlog on Friday, then you'll know, but it will be late. Sometimes I get the Patreon packages out early in the month. Sometimes I get them out really late in the month. So thank you for all your patience, but they are going to make your, their way to you. I just really wanted to give you guys some doodles. I'm really into the doodle, these kind of doodles at the moment, so hopefully you don't get sick of them because in the last um, Patreon cycle, I also sent some doodles. So, All right, I'm going to take a break. I'm going to scan these, take a break, kind of lie on the couch, and then, yeah, I don't know. <laughs>